All right, so I'm going to be doing a comparison on the iPhone 13 mini versus the iPhone 12 mini. Now, the 13 mini I just picked up in blue, definitely happy with my color choice, and the 12 mini I've had in that fresh purple. Now, the biggest design difference you're going to notice right away is that the 13 mini camera is diagonal, while the 12 mini just goes straight down. Now, sizes on these phones are exactly the same. I'm actually going to stack them on top of each other to prove it. And yep, we've got the double stack, all right? <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna flip them over so we can take a look at the screens. I also wanna point out the price difference on these phones. The 13 mini starts at $699 with 128 gigabytes compared to the 12 mini with a $599 price point and 64 gigs. So yeah, the 13 mini is 100 bucks more, but you do get some more gigs out of it. Now both phones have 5.4 inch XDR OLED displays with the notch at the top being exactly the same. As a matter of fact, it's impossible to tell these phones apart when you have them flipped over, but you saw I had that Superman wallpaper on the 12 mini that looks really slick. Now I wanted to pull up a quick picture I took on both phones of my Galaxy Z Flip 3. I just did this this morning. And the quality, I mean, it's really impossible to tell. I think the brightness setting on the 13 mini is a little bit higher than on the 12 mini. And as far as the specs go on the cameras, I mean, they are close to identical, so not a whole lot of difference there. The next thing I wanted to do though was go over the video and sound quality. So I'm gonna throw up a one minute clip of Metroid Dread. It's this new gameplay trailer for Nintendo that I just excited for this game to come out. Anyways, I'm gonna load this up and let it play. And before we get more into this, I wanted to recommend everyone check out Binance US. Now, this is one of my go-to cryptocurrency trading apps that I've been using for years. Currently, I've got 60 plus coins you could buy, sell, and trade, super low trading fees. And honestly, guys, they're just awesome. So if you want to learn more about them or get started, I'll have some bonus sign up and resource links in both the description and comments. I wanted to go over the performance and speed loading up Castlevania on both phones. Now, the 13 mini does have the newest A15 processor. Just kind of curious to see how much faster it is than the 12 mini, if anything, especially playing this new Apple Arcade game. Now, this game is awesome. If you've never watched the Netflix series on Castlevania, it's an anime series, it's awesome. There's also an old school classic game. But I'm gonna try to play the game somewhat simultaneously on both phones for like a minute or so. And then I'm gonna just kind of wrap things up at the end on you know if I think the 13 mini is worth buying over the 12 mini or vice versa.
Okay, so here's the thing. The 13 mini and 12 mini look close to identical. Really just the camera design on the back is the only real design difference. But if you did get the 13 mini, it's $100 more. You're going to get that 128 gigs as opposed to spending $100 less going with the 12 mini and then you only get 64 gigs. I honestly think that it makes more sense just to get the 13 mini so you could, you know, get more storage on your phone, which is kind of crucial honestly and even at 64 gigs i think you could still get away with it but why not get that extra storage right okay, anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this comparison the last thing i wanted to point out is that the 13 mini battery is slightly bigger so you should technically get a better battery laugh on the 13 mini but i haven't tested both phones out against each other long enough to know that all right anyways uh smash that like button if you haven't guys subscribe to the channel thanks for watching it and we will see you in the next one